The December 1955 arrest of Rosa Parks for refusing to give up her seat on a bus to white passengers sparked the Montgomery, Alabama bus boycott. The boycott against the segregated bus system was supposed to last one day, but an estimated 17,000 African Americans supported it. The boycott lasted more than a year. The community's enthusiasm led organizers to extend the protest and appoint a spokesman. That person turned out to be a young Montgomery minister, Dr. Martin Luther King. Opponents of the boycott resorted to many tactics to deter and intimidate protesters from participating. Among those tactics, legal harassment. On February 21, 1956, a Montgomery, Alabama grand jury indicted 89 leaders of the boycott, including Dr. King and the Reverend Ralph Abernathy. Their crime? Violating a 1921 state statute forbidding boycotts without, quote, just cause. Along with the indictment, the grand jury issued a report repudiating the anti-segregation efforts. Grand jurors wrote, quote, in this state, we are committed to segregation by custom of law. We intend to maintain it. Of the nearly 90 people indicted, Dr. King was the only one to be prosecuted. He was convicted, fined $1,000, and given a suspended jail sentence of one year of hard labor. As the strength of the Borkatas grew, the intimidation turned violent. The homes of several leaders, including Dr. King's house, were bombed. On the night of August 25th, 1956, several sticks of dynamite were thrown into the yard of Pastor Robert Gretz, an outspoken supporter of the boycott. Pastor Gretz was a young white minister serving the city's primarily black Trinity Lutheran Church. He was also a member of the Montgomery Improvement Association, the primary group that planned and guided the city's bus boycott. Pastor Gretz was in Tennessee at the time of the explosion. His wife and children also were not home, and no one was injured. Shortly after the boycott began, organizers filed a federal lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of Montgomery's segregated buses. The lawsuit worked its way through the courts as the boycott continued. And on November 13, 1956, the Supreme Court ruled that public bus segregation was unconstitutional and ordered Montgomery buses to integrate. On December 21, 1956, one day after the Montgomery bus system was served the court's order, the boycott ended and the city's black citizens resumed riding the buses.